Hi friends, let us discuss SA 200 overall objective of audit and conduct of audit in accordance with standard of audit. SA 200 caption. What are the objective of SA 200? Four objectives are mentioned. Auditor shall ensure that his opinion on financial statements reflecting to and fair view. Second objective, conduct of audit, independent audit in accordance with SA and also in accordance with applicable laws and regulations. Auditor is required to obtain reasonable assurance that financial statements are free from material misstatement. Third objective, to prove whether the financial statements is free from material misstatement that is in connection with third objective, auditor require information which provide a base for basis for proving that the financial statements are free from material misstatement. These are the four objectives. Audit is an assurance function. That's the main key points we have to be noted down. The function of audit are, auditor are to provide a reasonable assurance and not an absolute assurance. Main motive of audit is to provide a reasonable assurance. Assurance is two type. And let us go through the difference between reasonable assurance and absolute assurance. Meaning, reasonable assurance, assurance of high degree about financial statements are free from material misstatement. In reasonable assurance, auditor give a high degree of assurance. However, in the absolute assurance, 100% assurance is given that financial statements are free from material misstatement. Situation. General audit will be practicable due to the inherent limitations of the audit. In case of general audit, the normal audit they can only provide reasonable assurance due to the inherent limitations. Specific purpose such as investigations, they are required to provide absolute assurance. There is nothing work out for the reasonable assurance. Situation 1, the normal statutory audit, we will give the reasonable assurance. Absolute assurance for the specific purpose investigations such as a fraud investigations into the fraud or investigation into the affairs of the company second let us move into the requirement conduct of audit in accordance with standard on audit essay requirement ethical requirement integrity objectivity professional due competency due care professional behavior and confidentiality professional skepticisms this is an attitude inside the mind for being alert and questioning mind sufficient and appropriate audit evidence obtain the needed quality and needed quantity evidence to provide to express an opinion so these are the requirements first requirement is ethical requirement second requirement is professional skepticism Third is the professional judgment. Total requirements, expression of opinion on financial statements, conduct of audit in accordance with essay and applicable laws and regulations. So it is a super quick revision on essay 200. Thank you for watching the video and have a nice day ahead.